Tell us a little bit about your topic. Just kind of introduce us to what your, your ideas are that you're going to share with us. Well, retouching for real, is, that's exactly what it pertains to, is, is everyday retouching. I think most of us as artists, we get excited over retouching that we do for, for competition images and things that we do creatively. But if you are a working photographer, um, that, where you are dealing with a workload, um, that type of retouching, the type of retouching that we put into our competition images, our artistic images, um, sometimes that's not practical for our day-to-day -day retouching. Um, I do a lot of high school senior photography and um, you know my typical senior will order an album that starts with 30 images. So once they've placed their order, I have 30 images to retouch. I've had to learn to have a, a fast workflow that allows me to get through those in a reasonable amount of time. So um, that's what this is about. And I will come away with a nugget from almost every program I've been to of some new, new way to retouch that has helped my workflow. So um, that's, that's what I hope to offer people coming to the program is something that they, if they can just get one or two little nuggets of information that they can use in their workflow. Wonderful. That night you're actually going yeah. through your retouching process, share your actions and an image or so to work on as a group, which is fantastic. And absolutely. I would encourage everyone to bring a laptop. Um, you're going to learn so much more if you can actually use these methods as we go through them. I will provide you with an image or images. Um, you're welcome to bring your own if you want to, but I will provide you with images that you can follow along with and lots of thumb drives so that they can be passed around and everyone can download this information. There will be a couple of actions on there that you can use as well as step-by-step um, -step instructions. Uh, for later after you leave the program if you need to go back and go through the process. There's a few things that I've incorporated to speed up my workflow and uh, one involves frequency separation which I know so many people are using already but I feel like a lot of people um, do not use it because it has seemed so complicated and what this program is going to do is give you a way to use it in a very fast efficient way a very simple way so that you're not uh, worried about building layers and, and understanding the concept behind um, how to build that action. Fantastic. I will actually have the action. That's so great. I'll just show you how to use it or and I can explain it if, if you're a technical person that wants to know that, but um, it's mostly a tool for you to get from one place to another in a very quick fashion because those of us that do use it know there are things that frequency separation will solve that no other retouching will solve um, as well. And it's, I mean, most of us that use it in our client work obviously use it in competition too because it makes such a tremendous Absolutely. Um, you can use it um, that way. I use it on my competition images. Um, I will talk, also talk about hair smoothing. I have an action for that. Um, and typical small little things. I, I realize that some of the people coming to the program may have not been retouching for long. Uh, it may be something newer and there are things that um, some, of, some of us have done for a very long time uh, that they may have not done before. You know, a new way to lighten eyes or whiten teeth, um, iron clothing. Uh, iron backgrounds <laughs> <laughs> so this is just um, quick efficient ways I mean as I go through images my typical uh, client images I try not to spend more than five minutes on each image hopefully less than that um, of course that starts with getting it right in the camera uh, at the beginning and using good lighting I'll talk a little bit about that but this is a retouching program so please you know, have questions, bring your computers, uh, be ready to learn something that night. If you want to bring your tablet, I will have mine there and uh, in my pen tool. And uh, that, if you don't use that, that 
makes your workflow faster. We'll be using uh, Photoshop CC. I believe that these techniques will work just as well with uh, CS6 if that's what you have. Um, I also use Nick software, so I'll be using Color Effects 4 to show some finishing treatments. Um, so if you have that, great. If you don't, you might download a trial version of it. Well, we're so excited that you're coming and um, glad to hear you're bringing Tony too. We'll be happy to see you. Yes. Yes. Um, it'll be fun. I mean, coming to Dallas is like family for us. So. Um, I'm honored to be asked to come and speak and look forward to seeing a lot of uh, old friends and new faces. Uh, you guys have a wonderful guild. Um, I don't know of any other guild in the U.S. that has as much uh, momentum as you guys have. So, so much talent in that guild. So, uh, it's a little intimidating to come and teach there, retouching, because there are masters everywhere I look. <laughs> Yeah, but like you said, there's so many different ways to edit with even just frequency separation. And yes. if you search the internet, there's so many different ways to use it. And some of them are very intimidating. So we're all looking forward to your method.